Yes, 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 my beautiful people, all about love, wisdom, where you live, atheism, magic, numerology, and the power of you, and G-O-D, a.k.a. the generator of vitamin D, the light that powers the sun. We have much confusion on Earth, and I believe that I have been sent here to translate. We've had bad translators, and I love them all, but bad translators every yuga or age. Notice that every age, we seem to have all these all this wisdom, right? Sutras, books, texts, Bibles, Torahs, Talmuds, whatever you want to call them. And yet we still steal and hate and fight and kill each other and then meditate and then create weapons and meditate. Or we go atheist. And I understand that. I'm not damning your belief or not belief. But I'm going to show you patterns to think for yourself and check for yourself and don't trust only me. Now, much love the J-H-E. Where do we live? Before I get into all this, we must know where we live before I show you the magic of numerology and what God numbers are. Yes, I am starting a new mathematical, spiritual syncretism movement called God Numbers. And I will be doing presentations, hear me now, in Iowa City. I am a customer, pardon me, I am a customer at my store and a cashier who receives his numbers every day for JHE, okay? But focus your mind on this. We live in a sagittal plane, people. Sagittal plane, the body. Hmm, let's look at the diagram, okay? Plane, where do we live? Okay, that's the cross of Christ. It looks kind of flat to me, a bunch of flat dimensions. No balls here. What does a plane mean in etymology? A plane means flat. That's the flat out truth. Level, plane. I was born in Jamaica, plain, Massachusetts. Wow. It means to be thin. Hmm. Anorexic people much love. And my big people, Celtic. Lanon, flat, level. Even, even, Adam, flat-footed, plain, clear, wake up. Oh, relates to an offering to the gods. Meal, honey, and oil is your plane or your planet. But what are you offering your gods with a ball-spinning earth? I don't know. Now, we know that earth is a planet, so-called Rocky Balboa. <laughs> yeah, it's a planet, flat an E-T, like ballet is B-A-L-L-E-T. The ball, E-T, is the ether, <laughs> not the earth, around her. E-T is ether. Wake up, people. Estrogen, goddess, mother, your mama, is not this. So it's a contradiction, clearly. How can you have a planet, a flat place, looking like a ball? It's a good question. I think like children, and so should you. Now, your sagittal plane is ruled by who? The arrow guy or girl, sag -iterius. Are you this sign? Hmm, my moon is in sag -iterius. Your Jupiter rules your sag plane. Okay, know where you live before I show you magic. Mm-hmm. Now, Jupiter is also known as who in etymology? Jove. Put an L there, it's all about love, yes or no. God, G-O-D. Atheism, hmm, interesting. God is generator of vitamin D. It's the Father people. Now, we know the prayer, Father. Father is an anagram for flat earther. Look, earth is in there. Put an L. People, wake up. <laughs> wow, wow. Now, 9-11, ding, 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 you call them. When it's an emergency, you call the police or a polis, it means a Greek city, or a policy. Your father is the art, meaning a star system is art. Sagittarius is supernatural patterns of stars made in heaven. Your father is Jupiter who made them. But what made Jupiter and what made the nothing that made the something? Now, let's review again the five platonic solids before I break down some magic for you all. Okay, you can all do this. I'm showing you how to research. Very simple. You go here every time, okay? Not your ego. 
all right? I know it's hard for a lot of us. We all want to be right, but you got to know where you live. And God bless the Hellenic faith. Okay, Earth is this, the hexahedron in geometry. You understand me? A plane, many flat sides here. And she becomes a B-A-L-L -L ball ballet as ether around the Earth people. You must know the difference, okay? How does that exist on a ball, honey? So the Earth don't move. It's your star systems that make a dome around her and beneath her and beside her as a force field. Now about atheism. We're confused here. Much love to Buddha and Buddhists. But Buddhism, we know, is not a, and I understand why, theistic religion. Buddha himself, first of all, is transgender. It's Mercury, so that's wrong. It's Mercury. Buddha himself rejected the idea of creator God. I understand that. And Buddhist philosophers have even argued, why argue? If you're about Buddha, you're peaceful. That belief in an eternal God, generator of vitamin D, is nothing but a distraction for human seeing and seeking enlightenment. That's interesting. Okay, now, first of all, Buddha, B-U-D-H-A, in Sanskrit means Mercury and the sun of the moon. Hmm, interesting. So there's a bit of a disconnect here. They believe in a literal Buddha. Okay, like a literal Christ Jesus and an Allah. They're all metaphors for star systems. Wake up now. Your Buddha is also known to be the ninth avatar of Vishnu, a Hindu god for a fact. This is a fact. This is a fact. So, we slow down now. And now, Jay, let's get into the power of 786, the number for Om. It equals three. For your Brahma, Vishnu, Shiva, your Father, Son, Holy Spirit. It relates simply to who? Bismillah, Allah. Okay, it relates to... Om, and it relates to your Kabbalah, okay? You can go to my Facebook page to see this stream, J-H-E-R-U-S-S-E-L-L. -S -S -E my best work yet. Now, it's your work too. Here is my collage. Last night, I found 185, put a search engine, my name J-H-E, the one is a J, the eight is an H, the five is an E, magically, for why do Shiva and Brahma give boons to demons? Do you understand me? So it's deeper than just being a meditative person, not believing in God, wearing shoes all day, you know, having a sangha. I understand that, right? Or a samba. You have to have a relationship with the sun and the moon, barefoot with your eyes and body. Now, 185 right here for Jagannath, a.k.a. Krishna. What are the odds? 786 here for another Hindu celebration. Look at the dates. All right. Now, here are my feet where I have chronic pain, but I'm getting better. Down the street for me, it's 185 people, okay? <laughs> also, at my store, I don't eat animals. They say hi to me. Your loin roast. Wow, 185, hmm, the loins of an animal. That is sexual harassment. If I put my hands on the loins of a woman without her consent or a man, that's sexual abuse and harassment. So what is pork butt and what is loin roast doing here? Why doesn't it translate for animals? I don't judge a diet, but it's just, it doesn't make sense. It's animalism. 786 here on cheese. I'm a cashier or am I a magician? Ha, I've also seen in Iowa, evidence of God numbers. 786, ding, 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 Om and Allah. They talk to me all the time. I went to Minneapolis to visit a buddy of mine, Rosalind Hansen, a urine therapist and flat earther goddess. I saw I am R185. <laughs> And there is J-H-E, the Russell, on Facebook. And notice in my Facebook link, J-H-E appeared magically. I asked for it. Okay? And what mantra did I put? I put the Guru mantra. Guru Brahma, Guru Vishnu, Guru Devo. Devo Maheshwara. Guru Sakshat Param Brahma Tasme Shri. Gurave Nama. So I'm giving praise to who is doing this. It would be God, okay? Wow, wow, wow. Slub it down, J. Now in Pythagoras, the one is a J, I say. The five is an E all day. And the eight is an H. It's a new day. 
Slow it down, Jay. Supernatural syncretism, the Bhagavad Gita. Srila Prabhupada 185. What does it say here? Hmm. What does Krishna want me to tell you all? Whenever and wherever there is a decline in religious practice, okay. O descendant of Bharata and predominant rise of irreligion, at that time I descend myself, meaning those who don't believe in God anymore, he will come, but didn't he come as Buddha? And Krishna's an avatar of Vishnu too. So there's a lot of problems with our meditative and religions. Now, how many atheists are there? Notice J.H.E. is in this name, Juhem Navarro. 400, 500 million. That's a lot of atheists. Most of them in China. Okay, 200 million. And I'm not darning you all. You have the right to think what you want. I'm just going to show you real evidence of what God is. Okay? Or generator of vitamin D. Now, in our anatomy, we have a lunate bone in the hand. It is known as the moon. Now, what did that? Hmm. Didn't Buddha, if he was literal, or Christ, literal? If they were literal, what made their lunate moon bone? Okay. Mercury. The crescent moon, the golden door, is known to be the Virgin Mary's miraculous conception. Did y'all know that? And there she is. They're telling you in code your Bible is astrology and about your bones. Your Lord Krishna is also one with you. Believe in him or her or not. Is the moon, ding, 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 or the nakshatras. The moon stands for moving over others' preconceived notions. Slow it down, Jay. That was brilliant. Your Muslim flag, Allahu Akbar, okay, has the moon, honey. It's okay. It's a new day, right? Wow. Wow. Now, moon in Hebrew. What is your moon in Jewish encyclopedia? The moon is Ara, hmm, Ora, Aurora, or Yera. Hmm, there's Hare in there, people. Or hip hop hore. Or hoorah for you Marines now is your Hare Krishna. William is Bill and Richard is don't be a dickhead. Part of my language for your children. Now, in the search engine for the solar plexus, the sun in your stomach, I found 185. What are the odds? Your solar plexus is the sun. It is in your stomach for the fun. Low self-esteem. How? Now, puppy chow. In India, astrology, the sun is the supreme atma, or the karaka, known as the soul. Okay? And it's a plain et, right? Earth is, not the sun. They're orbs. Wake up. Flat. Plain. Hmm. Flat et. Your Jewish experts tell you that Moses was a solar hero. Let's read quickly. This deity, Adar, represented the sun god. Primitively worshipped at Nippur, now Nifer, in Babylonia, who afterwards came to be regarded as a sort of Chaldean Hercules. He was called Uras or Uranus in Akkadian, and also in Semitic, when regarded as the god of light, but he was further known in Assyrian as Baru, the revealer, though we learn from Babylonian text discovered in Upper Egypt that his more usual title was Masu, the hero, a world which is letter for letter, the same as the Hebrew, hear me now, Moshe, Moses, Masu, is defined as being the sun god who rises from the divine day. Wow. Wow. Blowing your mind, y'all. Slow it down, Jay. I don't believe you. Now, the sun in Arabic is what? Okay, sun would be your shamrock in Ireland. Shams. Don't be a shill or a sham. Sham I am. I will not eat green eggs and ham. Now, in your Jewish encyclopedia again, your sun, right, is known to be Shemesh. The sun is Shemesh. She. She, people. A woman. Are you a mess? A messiah? Mercury. Encyclopedia. Nowhere to go here. Shamash is the moon god, wow, and the damn sun god. So I just didn't kill two birds at one stone. I gave life to two birds by giving them food. Why would you kill a bird with, two, with, uh, with one stone? 
that's animal cruelty and it's teaching you to be violent. Be careful. So William is Bill. Once again, Richard is, don't be a dickhead. Now Krishna, aka Avatar of Vishnu, is known to be dark and old dirty bastard. Woo! Or black. Racism how black and white. Ding, ding, ding. The blacks of your eyes and the whites of your eyes, honey. Now it's you. Chernozem, ha, do you know him? Is a land in Ukraine, and it means the black soil earth. AKA Krishna, hi people. And God bless the Ukraine and the whole world. Now, Rosalind Hansen gave me, hear me now, humic acid, a powder from the earth. Interesting, and what does it look like? Ding, ding, it's black like Krishna. <laughs> Now, on the same day, after I did my presentation on Facebook about 786, a buddy of mine took me to the movies. There's the date, my birth month, 5th, born May 14. I bought, I bought us two drinks, and what did it come to? 867 people. Wow. And I put a mantra there. J. Om, one of the names of Vishnu, Sat Vavan. Wow. There were a thousand names of Vishnu. 867, huh? That's 786, William is Bill. If you say it's different, you need to chill because you're getting ill. I have seen that in a screenshot size, ding, ding, ding. I have seen that on the top sirloin of an animal, don't eat them, at my store, ding, ding, ding. Don't believe in God, okay. Screenshot size again, 876. Look at the times and the dates. And below on a license plate, 876. Takes us right back to ding, ding, ding. The origin of all things. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Wow, Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Shiva, boom, Om, J-H-E. And Om, Ram, Reem, Ram, Saha, Suya, Yanamaha, Om, Chandra, Yanama, Om, Ah, Hum, Vajra Guru, Pedma, Siri, for you Buddhists. And Om Namo Bhagavade Vasudevaya, Om Namah Shivaya. You understand me? All right, I think it's pretty clear. Share this, take your time. Replay this. Many of you might not get it, but just know that all of your uh, demons get boons from your creators, which is why you're confused. They do not pick sides. For example, if you're a murdering bastard, and I'm not promoting this, if you're a murdering bastard, okay, and you're an evil person, if you spend a whole year just praising Krishna or praising Vishnu or praising Shiva, they will come visit you and ask you for a boon and they will let you have the boon. The only boon they don't like to give is immortality because all must die. But look at your damn story in, in Hinduism. The Shiva Puran, the Vishnu Puran, all of them get in trouble by giving demons boons. Ask why. But what made the demons, Krishna, Vishnu, and the angels, why? It's complicated, isn't it? Wow, Jay. Incredible work, Jay. And share this, it was fire.